Phoenix Contact is proud to introduce our new CAT6A RJ45 Quick On Connector. This connector is fully shielded to provide 10 gigabit data transfers. The connector accepts four twisted pair wiring, CAT6 Ethernet cable, 26 to 24 gauge solid or stranded conductor. No special tools are required. The connector is color coded for TIA 568A and B. Let's take a look at how the connector is assembled. First, you need to prepare the cable by removing approximately 4 inches of the jacket, leaving approximately 3 eighths of the braided shielding exposed. Take the piece of conductive foil tape, remove the backing, then wrap it tightly around the exposed braided or foil shielding. Then slide the coupling nut and connector housing over the cable and let it fall back away from the cable end. Take the brown and white pair and blue and white pair and bend them down and out of the way. Separate the conductors and match them to the color coding on the small door of the connector. Orange stripe, orange solid, green stripe, and green solid. Using your snips, cut the conductors on an angle from right to left, each leaving the conductor a little longer. This is what it should look like. Open the small door and start to insert the conductors by color code, inserting the longest conductor, the orange stripe, into the first hole to the left, followed by the second conductor, then the third and fourth sequentially through the color coded holes. Slide the connector back as far as it will go towards the foil tape. Then using your snips, cut off the excess conductors as close as possible to the connector door. Then firmly press the small door closed to complete your IDC connection. Separate the remaining four conductors and twisting them in order to match the color coding on the other side of the connector. Brown solid, brown stripe, blue solid, and blue stripe. Use your snips to cut the conductors on an angle from right to left, leaving each conductor to the left a little longer. Then open the small door, start to insert the conductors by color code, inserting the longest conductor, the brown one, into the hole to the left, followed by the second conductor and then the third and fourth sequentially through the color coded holes. Pull the excess conductors through the holes until the connector door is as close to the foil shielding as possible. Then use your snips to cut off the excess conductors and firmly press the door closed to complete the IDC connection. Press the shielding closed against the foil tape, then slide the connector housing forward and line up the two small slots so that they snap into place. Next, slide the coupling nut forward and screw it tightly onto the connector housing to establish a firm strain relief. For more information on the RJ45 10 gigabit Ethernet connector, visit phoenixcontact.com slash cat6a.